actually what is impedance you should have the clear idea about these terms what is actually impedance say somebody is trying to move on your through your home will you allow him to move no is that it that means you will give some opposition okay so that that particular person cannot be moved through your home okay so similarly whenever current is trying to flow through any circuit at that time the natural uh, property of the circuit is to oppose the flow of current okay and that opposition force can be given by the resistor or can be given by the inductor or by capacitor okay so the that opposition force which is coming from the resistor part that is known as resistance so at that time circuit impedance is resistance that means circuit is purely resistive so only resistor is providing the opposition force so whenever circuit is purely capacitive at that time this opposition force will be coming from the capacitor part okay so that is that is again it's, it will be treated as impedance but it will be very specifically you can say it as an inductive or not inductive here it will be treated as capacitive reactance okay so similarly the opposition force which will be coming from the uh, inductive part at that time that will be treated as inductive reactance okay so what will be the actual impedance of the circuit say a circuit is having resistor capacitor or inductor all the components all the passive components in a circuit let consider a very simple series rlc circuit okay let consider a very simple rlc circuit so all the components are available in series so it is r l and c okay and the voltage source say vt ac voltage and current is say it is it so the impedance of this circuit is r but here the impedance of this circuit not circuit or for this particular component will be omega l which is actually capacitive inductive reactance okay and it can be denoted as capital l similarly the inductive part or similarly for the impedance for this part is 1 by omega c which is actually denoted as xc that is capacitive reactance okay so whenever it current is flowing through this so there will be a voltage drop that is say vrt which is equal to r into it similarly there will be voltage drop across this inductive part which will be given as vlt okay which is equal to xl that is the reactive part or in impedance of the circuit of this particular component xl it and here it is vct which is equal to xc into it clear now how could we draw the phasor diagram of this circuit okay this is very important topics okay the phasor diagram for this particular circuit okay first of all consider the current which is flowing through this resistor having this voltage so as we know whenever current is flowing through the resistor then voltage drop will be occurred and that voltage vrt and the current which is flowing will be in 
same phase is that it already we have discussed if a circuit is having purely resistive load at that time voltage and current will be in same phase similarly if you consider this on as a reference point say this one is the voltage say v r t similarly current will also be in the same phase that means if we consider it it does mean that vrt and current so vrt and current which is flowing through this resistor part are in same phase there is no phase angle phase difference okay now come to this side inductive part so in case of inductor we know that voltage leads the current by 90 degree so if this one is the voltage so this one is the current it so obviously the voltage across this vlt so vlt will lead this current it by 90 degree that means this should be considered as vlt okay which is 90 degree and this directions anti clockwise direction is considered as the positive directions okay so you can consider the opposite direction as the positive directions so there is no harm but in our general practice we always consider anti clockwise direction as the positive direction okay so from this if you consider this direction so it is clear that it vt vlt is leading this it by certain angle or 90 degree angle okay so to draw the phasor diagram the technique is that we should consider so it is vrt now same phase that means vlt which is leading the it current by 90 degree we will consider this diagram from this point okay actually our target is to generate an impedance triangle so what is an impedance triangle later on i am coming so if we write we draw a parallel axis like this with this parallel axis okay so ultimately we are actually drawing here this vlt or we are representing the vlt here okay that means this vlt leading the current by 90 degree okay next come to this where it is clear that whenever current is passing through the capacitor so in that case the voltage vct lacks the current by 90 degree so similarly if current is it so voltage vct will be in 90 degree okay that means current leads the voltage by 90 degree so here it is vct okay in the same way we have to draw the parallel phase here which will actually represent this vct this vct okay 